friends, welcome back to Mimi's Mix Bag. Thank you so much for stopping back by. It's the end of January and it's time for me to share with you some of my favorite thrifted finds for this month. The whole month I've been thinking I didn't have that much, but after I started digging through my little collection box, I realized that I had more than I thought, but some good little neat things to share with you. The first one is probably my favorite thing for the month. I've never seen one of these. It is called a revolving salad carousel. And I just want to show you, I took it out of the box and put it together so I could show you what it looked like. I even went on eBay to see if you could find these and there are several on eBay, but I can assure you they are not $2.99 that I paid for it. This appears to be have never been used. What it is, is you put your lettuce in the main compartment in the center, and then you can put your salad toppings around it. Or you could do any kind of taco meat and the taco toppings, whatever, you know, that you need something that everybody can personalize their plate. So I just thought it was the neatest thing and it also folds up very compact to go in this little box like this size. So I'm always looking for stuff that is compact and this was just perfect and I couldn't pass this up for $2.99. Um, I got this big pack, it's probably at least 20 of Valentine gift bags. I got it on a half price day so I paid a dollar for all these. It'll be a long time before I need a Valentine gift bag but couldn't pass it up for that many for a dollar. Now occasionally I will pick things up at the Goodwill that is not a bargain but my Dollar Tree's out of them and it's these little plastic paper plate holders. Brand new, still in the package for 99 cents. I just picked them up because I needed to replace some of mine. So I will wash those up and stick them in the cabinet. All right, the next thing was something neat. I have made homemade sauerkraut before, but I wanted to try this little contraption. And what it is, is uh, this special lid that makes mason jars vacuum sealed. And so I thought I would shred some cabbage up try making some homemade sauerkraut using this little thing. This is about seven or eight dollars, but I got it for 99 cents. And so I thought it'd be neat to try a Vibe vacuum lid. Great for pickling and preserving. So we'll see. I may end up doing a video and showing you how it turns out. I picked up a little craft kit for my granddaughter for 99 cents. These are Melissa and Doug, a little wooden stitch thing. It would have been quadruple that price at Marshall's or TJ Maxx, something like that. That's who normally sells that brand. I, th I really picked up these two little cloth napkins for crafting fabric, but I just love the Christmas that said, the Christmas fabric that just said Mary all over it. And then I realized these were world market cloth napkins. They're normally $2.99 each. They've got a little blanket stitch on the outside edge, and I'll probably use them as some little mini table runners or something like that. I don't think I'm going to use these for crafting because they're a lot nicer than I originally thought. All right, the next thing, a total steal on this, two zippered Pottery Barn olive branch pillowcases. I'm going to need two 18-inch pillows to go in them, but this print right here is absolutely timeless, and it's got a little blue in it. It's going to look so pretty on my navy blue porch furniture. And so looking forward to that. I found two of these identical on Poshmark that sold for 19. So for me to get both of these for a dollar each was quite the bargain. I picked up this. I've got to buy something to go with it. But what this is, is a sleeve of Dixie travel coffee lids. I can buy a package of those styrofoam cups and just have a big supply of travel coffee mugs. When we travel and things, I like to carry coffee with us. And what a great way to just have a bunch of throwaway coffee mugs. I'll be getting some styrofoam cups to go with that. Got that whole sleeve for 99 cents. Brand new spool of Garden Ridge ribbon. This place is now called At Home, if you're familiar with that store. Very nice wired ribbon. Sometimes you don't want to use burlap because that kind of puts it in a farmhouse rustic and sometimes you just want some brown ribbon so i'll definitely use that in the fall with crafting i love the nice wide ribbon got this whole roll for 99 cents picked up four of these i just 
brought one here to show you, but I got a set of four. Their placemats at Goodwill are 59 cents, so I paid less than $2.40 for four of them. I don't normally buy four, but this was such a cute print that I will definitely be using these for Valentine's and springtime and Mother's Day. Just really cute to add to your table, to anchor a tiered tray, or put under any kind of centerpiece. So I'll insert a picture here of what I normally do with them. Got this brand new bag of plastic eggs for this spring for Easter. It was on a Sunday and I got half of $1.99. These are normally like three or four dollars at Walmart, but I got the brand new bag for a dollar. And I have found that there is a difference in cheap plastic eggs. The Dollar Tree ones a lot of times don't want to stay snapped. You have to put a little piece of tape on it. But if you do buy the better plastic eggs, they will stay snapped together. Got a couple little fall things. Ceramic turkey tea light holders. Usually in September and October, I always have scarecrows and fall things. But come November, I like to put out pilgrims and turkeys. And this will be super cute to put on a November tiered tray, just small enough that I'm always looking for something different. And these little ceramic turkeys are just perfect. Got this little autumn cup that was originally from Target for $5 and I ended up paying half of 99 cents. So I got this for like 50 cents on a Sunday. Just really cute for a fall tiered tray with the succulent and the little coffee cup. A couple little cute coffee cups, an N for a dollar, my last name initial, and the other one was a cute little Valentine coffee mug I can put on my little rack by my coffee pot. And last but not least is this really cute wall decor. It was like brand new. I love the colors of it. It had three nice little bullnose clips that I can clip grandkids pictures on. It says grandkids make life grand. And so I'm going to try to find one, a picture for each one to put on the clip. And I've already had this hanging in the house and just thought it was really cute. So I wanted to share that with you. I did end up paying $7 for this, but this would have clearly been $20 to $30 anywhere else. So thought that was a really cute wall decor piece. So there you go, friends. Got some cute, unique items this month. And I encourage you to check out your local Goodwill. I didn't get to my outlet bins this month, but hopefully I can share with you some of that stuff next month. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be back in a few days with another Valentine project. Bye-bye.